right, so here is the $200 RX-8 that I bought. And you can watch my other video when I went to pick this thing up. And I actually paid $150 for it. But we'll call it the $200 RX-8. So I am, if you saw the pictures of the other video, this car was kind of creamed on the passenger side. So um, I've removed all of that. It really had no structural damage at all. Um, I mean, this frame rails are totally straight, and you know the sills are perfect, and uh, the rear, the rear subframe is all good. Um, just this, this little corner was kind of smashed up, and I have just started cutting this all away. So it's really, I mean, it was a, the the body part of it was was kind of like that you know it was like that but structurally no no damage at all so really this car just had cosmetic damage although it was very extensive cosmetic damage all of the side was damaged but I originally bought this car if you watch the other one is to take the suspension out of it and put it in my uh, Triumph GT6 but then I started thinking well why don't I just use this car? Why take out the suspension? And the idea here is, um, you know, is to make an electric car out of it um, and try and uh, pursue the the Lemons fifty thousand dollar prize for winning overall with an electric car, which um, which I should probably discuss. Uh, but for the moment. I just wanted to show this, show you this car, and you know when I've seen these cars before. I mean, I've had another, I had another one that I was going to make into a lemons car, and I ended up just fixing it and selling it, and then uh, I got this one for the suspension. Then I bought another one. I haven't posted that video, but I bought a, another one that's totally nice and complete for 500 bucks, and it just, it just doesn't start. And so I, you know, I don't know what's up with that one, but for 500 bucks, I figured I could at least use the the body to make molds to fix this one uh, if I wanted to go that way. But you know, my plans change all the time. So anyway, I just wanted to show you this car because this car is uh, with it all torn down. You can see why this is such a good chassis, and um, and it's mostly is the center rib. As you can see that the frame rails start out, start out here, and I have this cross piece, by the way, uh, John. <laughs> so I can bolt that back on, it just bolts on. But you can see the frame rails kind of start here, and then they curve in to the trans tunnel, and they just keep going. They keep going with the center rib, and then they come back here, and then they flare out. So, um, you know, this car, this car has got this huge opening. You know, there's it's a it's a basically a four door car, but it has no no B pillar. I mean, you open and open up these doors, and uh, it's just a huge opening. And uh, you know, I think that they they needed to stiffen it up pretty significantly in order to have this huge opening. Um, so. Anyway, you know, like I said, I think when I've seen these cars before, they are they are, they have a very long wheelbase. I think it's I think it's 94 inches. I don't know. It's pretty. You know, it's got a long wheelbase, and there's plenty of room in the back. And I'm thinking, make it a make it a rear, a mid-engine motor. Put the motor, you know, basically right here. It's you know, there's plenty of room in there to stick whatever an LS motor, or V8 or V10 or V12. There's plenty of room. So, um, so yeah, you know, just and then once again, this is this is kind of uh, the idea of uh, you know I have ideas, right? And then uh, then sometimes reality comes around and changes your mind. And now that I've seen this, you know, I don't know if I really would want to cut out this center rib 
part of it. I'm sure I could strengthen it back up by, you know, it's got this, you know, the gas tanks are right here. And it's got this cross piece and you could probably cut out all of that area there and then triangulate it um, to, to add the strength to it. So I'm sure it could work, but um, it would be a significant modification to this. So uh, anyway, back to the being an electric car, um, you know, I think this, this an RX-8 seems like a good choice for that because it is a fairly big car. It's not a tiny car and you've got lots of room in it. I mean, look at all the space to put batteries and uh, you know, it can, it can handle, yeah, even though the, the rotary isn't heavy. Uh, you can just look at the structure here, and it, it can handle a lot of weight. Um, so you could you could you could put a lot of battery in here, and, and it would sit pretty low. You know, you could put some put some in the back there, and put some where the gas tank is. Put some here. Put some here. You could load this thing up with a lot of battery, and um, and because of this big door opening, it would be quite easy to to swap them um, although you know it might be easier to take them out the back but you would have the, you could put some in the back there and that would be really easy to pull them out I think list um, but that and also it's you know it's got a it's got a like a 477 rear end gear and that is really good for an electric motor you you want you want uh, a high ratio so it has it uh, you don't need a transmission you can just have the motor directly couple with the uh, the rear end and although these rear ends are weak we're talking about a road racing car not a drag racer so you know it's always going to be moving at speed it's not going to be you know doing wheel stands um, so i think the rear end might be strong enough for a road racing car and you know this is also you know I mean an RX 8's got really nice suspension, um, so I mean I think I think the electric motor would fit right right in there under this structure uh, if it was coupled directly to the to the rear differential. Um, so yeah, so that um, so that's what I was thinking is to take take this RX-8 and turn it into an electric road racer and uh, so yeah so I, I wanted to show you the structure of this car and uh, talk a little bit about uh, about the modifications I am thinking about doing um, so yeah so uh, this thing was you know I've I've, I've uh, removed uh, everything <laughs> And I started to work on the back part of it, and I just kind of wanted to show you that there's a lot, before I finish cutting all this out, is that uh, you know, there's a lot of, this is kind of the roll bar of the car. The front, the front here, this has no strength. Uh, they had a, it had a sunroof, the, the roof has no strength. And, but this, this piece here is pretty substantial. You know, this, all this, there's, there's multiple layers of sheet metal all over here. And so, this is kind of the roll bar of the car providing uh, the the upper strength you know it's got huge strength on the bottom to keep it uh, to keep it from twisting but uh you know but it needs something over the top i mean for a race car you you put you got to put a roll bar in it so you know a lot of this structure is, is redundant uh, for that purpose i mean um, so I, you know, I'm cutting all this out, and I just uh, so I wanted to um, I wanted to show you this car and the idea that I have besides making an electric or a mid-engine. Although I, let me throw out my other idea <laughs> because, because I'm gonna I like ideas, you know. I've got plenty of them all the time. Uh, some of them are good, some of them are bad. But uh, the other thought was to put in a uh, put in a transaxle and replace the differential back here with the, with with like with one of my 944 transaxles and then run the torque tube that I have from the 944 up here and 
then you could fit a fit a bigger motor up here in, in something that wasn't in our uh, a rotary. Although I do have a rotary, I have a 12A buried over there, and that's on, under the stairways stairwell. There's a there's a 12A twin turbo that I'm building for something else. So I can put that in this car, but I'm thinking electric on this car. Um, anyway, I'm sidetracking. So, you know, the RX-8 is an ugly car. <laughs> I call them fugly. Uh, and it's mostly the back of it. You know, the, the front of it, which is kind of missing right now, but the front of it looks really good. It's like the front of it is, you know, sporty, race car-y. You know, the way it has the, the, these fenders, these bulges for the wheels in the front, and it kind of, you know, tapers down, is uh, very good looking. It's very, uh, you know, sports car-ish. But, you know, kind of like the, uh, the Porsche Panamera, uh, which is also a really ugly car, uh, is that, you know, when you need room for people to sit in the back, I mean, they designed this car so adults could sit in the back. You need, you need headroom. You can't, you can't have it be some super low slung, uh, you know, roof, roof line. You need to have it. You need to have uh, headroom back there, and uh, so you know <clears throat> they they kind of started out good, and then then they had to uh, they had to to make it uh, fit for people, for adults, and then you know they did a reasonable job for that. But you know, I mean, look at a look at a Tesla, or you know, or, or a Chrysler Concorde, or some other cars. They still make them look good, uh, swoopy. Even even when they're four door cars, so they could have done a better job. And you know, part of it part of it is uh, it's sort of this here, and then it had this short window. You know, it's not a it's not a hatchback. It's, it has a trunk, and uh, so you know, it just makes it ugly. So my thought on this car is to make it look good. I got it all cut up. So why why not uh, redo it redo the design? Because uh, it only needs to hold one person. It just needs to hold the driver. And 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 while I mention that, <laughs> I'd also like to be center drive. But again, you know, reality with the center rib, I don't want to have to. I, I don't want to cut all that out. I might as well leave it in there. So um, so it'll you know the driver will be in the normal position on the left there. So, but you only need that one driver, so you don't need any room in the back for, for passengers. You only need room for some batteries. <laughs> so, the idea here is, uh, is to take, is to, I'm going to leave this windshield frame, and I'm just going to run, run this line out, and you can see how it go, it, well, you can see it. Let me give you this angle. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, well, I guess so. You can see how it it curves, it curves in, right? And then if you look at the the way it goes, the original one, it sort of curves in, and then it straightens out and curves up. Right, it goes down. It goes. So it comes up. And then it straightens out and starts a really gradual drop. And the doors, but the doors go up. All right, you can see the doors actually actually have a, a rising line. And um, so my thought is to completely change it and make it be more like a you know like a 63 Corvette or, or something along that line where basically it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna continue to to curve down all the way down and end up end up down here so it's gonna curve into a tail you know basically it's gonna curve the roof line is gonna curve in into you know I don't know how wide but because I haven't done it yet but basically it's going to curve into the 
into the into the tail and then the wheels are going to have big fender flares so it's going to be kind of like the front it'll be like the front but even more so so you're going to have you're going to have the back come in like the front does and then there's going to be these big honking uh, fenders that flare that come out to cover the wheels so it's it's like taking the front of the car design and putting it on the back of the car but making it even more so so the fenders flare out even more because instead of the line coming in just to here the line's going to come in all the way to here so you're going to get you're going to get a big fender flare that's you know almost an, a foot and a half or so you know big so it's going to look totally muscular and uh you know and then it'll have really good aerodynamics as well because the the roof line is going to curve and taper all the way all the way back and being such a large long wheelbase car with with this with this area sticking out even past the wheels it's got a very long slope to to, to taper off gradually so um so yeah, I mean, when you have really small cars like a Miata kind of thing, you, you know, you can only do so much. But when you have a big car, you can do quite a bit of design because there's so much area to work with. <clears throat> so um, so yeah, so then the, so basically, I'm gonna eliminate this door, the back door. It's just gonna be one door, and then it's gonna end you know where it ends and I, and I'm going to I'm going to cut the top of it so it starts tapering starts starts tapering back towards it'll basically taper towards the the rear fender flares and uh, and then the, the this part where there was the back door will just be a solid piece so um, so there you go that's my uh, that is my idea on this car to make it look good <laughs> and uh, you know I think it could be a good electric car but I also, I also have a bunch of Prius motors and uh, you know Prius motors are, are basically free so that's a Prius motor right there and uh, this is the first generation there they uh, they are significantly down graded by pre by Toyota they 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 can pump out so much more power that they just don't do it to make them reliable but for a race car you know it's a race car you uh you're gonna have to uh increase the cooling dramatically and keep them cool so yeah i can make a prius a big prius motor um, there's another let's see that it's a prius rotor up there because i've taken one apart to rewind the, the the stator i've also got a couple really big motors industrial motors and uh, they're in their induction motors so yeah I'll, i'm gonna i'll show i'm gonna finish i just kind of want to show the back structure before i completely remove it <laughs> uh but uh i'm gonna i'm gonna completely remove it and then i'm gonna shape the new shape to the car and so i'll show you that uh, when, when i get that done um so, so there you go. Well, I'm, you know, let me know what you think. Uh, give me some comments. Uh, I'd like to see what you think about it. All right. Thanks for watching. Check with me again.